Are you ready? And if you think you've got time to think about it, don't think again. Time is ticking, but your concern is on hold. Humanity's gone cold, so I urge you to take off your blindfold. Uh, she's awesome. <laughs> she's really cool, and yeah, she's very funny. I uh, just started with her first with a guitar, singing songs. Then I uh, went to writing, writing a poem or two. And suddenly, her writing changed, her attitude towards education changed, and she ended up going to the spoken word assemblies on Thursday and took off. What I think makes her uh, a great spoken word artist is her ability to, to really connect with, with the people she's sharing her work with. Spoken word poetry to me is, is a tool that I use for social justice. And only further than social justice, to me, it's a tool I use to spread the gospel. And so what spoken word poetry is, it's sort of like a, a beautiful rhythm and lyrical intermingle that you would just present. A lot of people think it has sort of like a hip-hop style to it, but it's all depending on the poet. Everyone adapts it to make it theirs. My first experience was uh, in a classroom with a professor named Mr. Brennan. It was my uh, grade 12 year. And he invited these two poets to come in and have a little workshop with us. And I just fell in love with it right away. It was my first time ever hearing spoken word and I was hooked. And I'd been writing poetry ever since I was 12, but since that time, I remember, poetry changed to me because it wasn't just words on a paper now. It was words on a paper that you could express in the way that you felt most comfortable. And so I started doing that and I performed at Umi Cafe that very week. And that was just memorable. I remember the thrill. Sandra's a bit of a hybrid about uh, her family, her experiences, her faith, and her education, and her just joie de vivre that puts it all together and makes a difference. Most unartificial person I ever met. I, I think one of my favorite things is just her total refreshing attitude. Like uh, my jaw dropped when she said she'd done missionary work in Bolivia. I said, why? Well, I wanted to do something that would be a challenge. Okay. So she continues to take these great challenges and incorporates it in her, every aspect of her life. We past layers of wounded tissue as though searching for remnants unstained by the dust time accumulates. I had a globalization and communication class with her and uh, oddly enough she asked me to be her hype man after an oral presentation because she had a, a written piece that she was going to perform. From what I've heard I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's, not, it's not fluff. And it's actually, it's quite enjoyable, it's, it's provocative, uh, and it's, it's, not, it's not easy pieces, it's not easy poetry, which is, which is really refreshing. For the blessed hope we have has to be known by all our family, so our father can... Um, we used to fight a lot as kids, I enjoyed that, that's actually how I got my scar on my face. She was always the innocent one, and nobody believed that she was uh, capable of these things. Well, she kind of talks a lot. <laughs> so uh, if you're having her over for dinner, it's going to be a four-hour dinner. And she's the kind of person who can, like, whatever she puts her mind to, you can see her, like, falter and doubt herself just for a little bit, but she just has this perseverance and willpower. She, does, she just dreams big. Are you ready to stand on the front lines? For the battle has begun, Ephesians 6, 12 to 18 says, We are not fighting against human beings, but against the wicked spiritual forces in the heavenly world, the rulers, authorities, and cosmic powers of this dark age. So put on God's armor now and stand ready with truth as a belt tied around your waist with righteousness as your breastplate and as your shoes the readiness to announce the good news of peace but there's a work to be done to tell the world that he is love if i don't see you here again my brother i'll see you when we get there God's great mercy be forever with you. Courage, courage until we get there. We are here for just a little while. Maybe I got it. What 
what you need. Mm. You know I got it. Mm. All I'm asking mm. is for the respect that you Just give me. Oh, baby. Just a little bit. <laughs> My sister God surely gives beautiful gifts to us. It's in my heart, reminding me of his caring love. Fellow pilgrim will still be taking the same way home, even though oceans are 